Good morning, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door, and time your shot perfectly. Or, infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself or rig the room to your advantage. Leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please, make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. I'm... That is Mark Faber. Possibly ah, the most elusive man in the I history of the ICA. Different. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisitions Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, I see. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. All right, well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. It's digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fella, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary. I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. You. Suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. Emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. What else? Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough, but there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone. Final bid? Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. But I would love to see you try that. I'll just head over to check on what that you guy's working on. You carry on.
Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. That I is Mark Faber. Possibly the most elusive <laughs> man in the history of the ICA. Me again. Uh, I don't think this is foul play. Looks Target like Target eliminated. Let's get back into it. All right, so we know Zukov's planning on revealing his rag of lies to the world in New York next week. I paid off a call girl he frequents, and she let it slip where the bad boy's going to perform his evil deed. <laughs> that guy can... <sighs> bad timing. Target eliminated. Okay, that's actually useful information. I didn't read it. Okay. That is Mark Faber. Possibly the most elusive man in the history of the ICA. Target eliminated. I'm always up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. So, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you, Mr. Faber. I'm all about freedom of approach. Target eliminated. Faber. Possibly the most elusive man in the history of the ICA. Mr. Faber. Yes. You're the weapons designer. Absolutely. Smashing. Let's have a look at what you've got. I know the designs I sent were... unique. But I figured you would appreciate the challenge. I'm always up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. So, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you, Mr. Faber. I'm all about freedom of approach. Very well. Right, let's have a look at this. I need it to be an exact replica of Sukov's favorite fountain pen. And it has to... Huh? No explosive element. What the hell is this? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Stab the man? Looks to be made of boron nitrate nanotubing. It will be a very effective stabbing weapon, especially against the softer parts of a human body like an eye. <laughs> You've got a very old-fashioned way about you. No self-respecting assassin would use something this silly. What's next, fiber wires? <laughs> hmm. Perhaps we should agree to disagree on that, Mr. Faber. up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. So, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you, Mr. Faber. I'm all about freedom of approach. Very well. Come in, come in! You there? I have what could be a bomb. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Man, Time to find an exit. The boys in white to right, let's have a look at this. 
I need it to be an exact replica of Sukov's favorite fountain pen. And it has to... Huh? No explosive element. What the hell is this? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Stab the man? replica of Sukov's favorite fountain and pen and it has to huh no explosive element what the hell is this what am I supposed to do with this thing stab the man it looks to be made of boron nitrate nanotubing it will be a very effective stabbing weapon especially against the softer parts of a human body like an eye <laughs> you've got a very old-fashioned way about you no self-respecting assassin would use something this silly. What's next, fiber wires? <laughs> hmm. Perhaps we should agree to disagree on that, Mr. Faber. Target eliminated. So, this is Robert Knox's new brainchild. Chilling. Can't really see it replacing humans for a long time, but... I will say, I admire his showmanship. But you, my friend, lack what all machines lack. Spontaneity. The ability to think freely, on your feet. And, perhaps more important than anything, the ability to feel fear, whether we like it or not. The fear of death is what drives us, makes us human. Once we lose that, well, we're nothing more than empty shells drifting through life, waiting to finally be discarded. Target hey. wired. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. Hmm, the bomb doesn't actually have to be that powerful. But it is extremely important the explosive element is flashy enough. It's not misdirection if people aren't looking at it. This isn't exactly a discreet container. I suppose if we add balloons to the event, spray paint this to look like a helium canister, I think we can make this work. You're not worried about losing control of the resulting explosion? Knox's octane booster isn't known for its reliability. Well, what's a little uncontrollable fire among friends? I'll be long gone by the time this thing is set off. Besides, I need a decent amount of fire to crisp off the remains, you know? You're planning on using a body double. Of course. It's worked so far, so why stop? Got quite a few of them in cold storage. Practical for my vanishing trick, if you know what I mean. Come in! Something Target just... Target eliminated. Oh, 